Welcome today to our webinar on the 2nd of March for Apollo Upgrade version 22.2. We also welcome you at the new time today at 4 p.m. on Wednesday and we will see if it suits to you. You can also write us in the chat. We are always curious which times are best for you. We will just do it on Wednesday now and then. Today we have a small but very interesting special feature. We are streaming our webinar live on LinkedIn. Philip has set it up so that you don't have to go through any further registration procedures, but simply click on join on LinkedIn and then you will be reminded within LinkedIn and informed about everything else. If you like this, then follow us and give us a thumbs up on our page or the event or both maybe. I would like to introduce ourselves briefly. My name is Henning Wagner. I am your host today and uh, this is actual in all webinars, but you probably already know that by now. Next to me is Philip Schwab, who's responsible for the technology. Hello, Philip. Hello to all viewers on uh, in LinkedIn and GoToWebinar. I'd like to welcome you today. And I'm really looking forward to showing you an Apollo construction scenario in the next few minutes in which um, the new Apollo functions are in the foreground. Okay, nice. Sounds really good. So we have uh, prepared a small agenda for you today. We start in Athena and uh, then bring the construction into Apollo. The example we are showing you today is based on a car dealership facade construction. There we can nicely show you a slooping facade with some slooping transoms in different levels. Don't forget that Apollo was specially developed for unitized, unitized facades among other things. The feature divide bar, Philip shows you how you can separate uh, a bar in different planes uh, from the inside to the outside. Here's the keyword, the water guardians or water drainage. Then we have individual parts drawings in Apollo. This can be created almost fully automatically. It's uh, very practical for documentation and the machinings. Our new visibility filter is used in almost all new functions, as you can easily switch the planes of the systems on and off. Very interesting for the CNC output of uh, subfiles, step files, the AlloCut files, and our new partner, the, the Camp Camprox with uh, the special Camquix uh, file. Yes. So more in the presentation. Yeah, we have Campricks from Karlsruhe in Germany. It's a new export, but this uh, will be shown by Philip later. It's really nice. Yeah, the multiple notching or machining per bar connection, you almost have to say that also something that makes your life easier. Because when a transom meets a malleum, things can get complicated, but not with our ingenious functions. There are so many more functions such as profile standard parts like you no from Athena, simply select tubes, angles, beams and other semi-finished products from a catalog and simply use them. But more about that at the end. So I think um, let's stop talking and Philip get started and sit down at the computer to show you how Apollo works. Yes, okay. okay. So <laughs> take a chair. Take a chair so, <laughs> and I take a seat here. So we have our workstation here directly on site and I can show you um, our yes, special construction scenario directly here. Um, yes, here on our webinar workstation. Okay, let's switch to the screen and we start. As I just mentioned it, we would like to run through an Apollo construction scenario in the next few minutes. I have prepared a possible basis for such an Apollo construction here in Athena. That is, I have prepared and finished a horizontal section including the structure joint. So that I also know where the profile axes are, so that I can of course bring a structure joint with labeled parts onto the plan later, I have prepared the axis grid model in Athena. Of course, you may get it from the architect for projects and can rework it again or you simply do it from the very beginning. Either in Athena or you can also prepare it as a 3D sketch. I write out this access grid model once as a user block also with the original coordinates. 
this is a good approach to write out parts or segments in the drawing as an independent drawing file and save it here. Briefly undo it, then we want to enter this drawing file or this basis in our new PDM system, Kronos. In this case, we will also include Kronos, which I have dragged in the project structure from the input box, simply by dragging and dropping and then naming it. Now we want to continue with Apollon and then of course edit the extracted access grid model, kind of like we did it in our last Apollon webinar. We will make the most of the time and of course start from the beginning as best we can. In the next few minutes we would like to go into more detail about the new functions among other things. So now we start importing a 3D sketch here and the drawing from Justin. The Kronos Explorer opens again, which is available in Apollon. This means that Apollon always access the Kronos structure and can also, for example, load this drawings as a 3D sketch. You see that we include our new PDM system Kronos um, again and again um, in this webinar. Now we change the front view so that this view of the facade is always in front, so we can navigate better and get a better overview. After this, we start the intersection point analysis to check whether this 3D sketch or the rest the model is also clean. This looks good. Here the surfaces are also recognized directly. Now we define the weather side so that Apollon also knows where the cover profiles or the main profiles have to be placed on the outside or weather side. Now we can continue with the attachment of the grid. Now of course we are no longer dealing with a normal drawing. We also change the view of the access model um, to the front view of the facade. But an Apollon assembly that has to be saved. Here Kronos opens again and we assign a name. Kronos automatically assign suitable document numbers with abbreviations. We assign the number automatically and we assign a file name. For example, facade basic model. We save and close and we leave a comment for our colleagues, for example. Yes, please always observe the 2D execution planning in the file folder drawings. Now let's open a new assembly file. In our case, an Apollon assembly that we place at the origin of the model space. We take it out of the structure and open it at the origin and fix it so that other components that we bring in later are also inserted at the origin and we don't have to move them somewhere manually. And here we change also the front view, that we have a better overview um, on the facade. The best thing is to do is to save the assembly at the same time, so that we have also entered and saved it directly in our project structure. Again, please name it, Kronos give us a document number and we can also um, 
fill out the attributes, the manufacturer, Shiko, and then we have the order number, the material is aluminium, the surface is blank and also we have a color, the RAL 9008 color. Now we can save the file. So we also finishing this step. We have done that and now we take the appropriate profiles from our bar assembly library in Apollon. Once here we attach the mullions with a distinctive covering profile. I thought of that. We can select all the mullions automatically and then Apollon calculates the profile assignment here. It just takes a little moment until the profiles are generated from Apollon. That fits now and we take the short sides and these are of course the transoms. Here again we select a suitable profile combination and then we go over the short edges and then also select the rest of the profiles. Because the great thing is nothing is overwritten, only the free axes are occupied. Then we also done with the basic assignment. You can see for yourself that everything works very intuitively and quickly, even the dialog boxes are self-explanatory. I improved the view quality a little and then we take a quick look at the result. By the way, it is also possible to navigate with the 3D mouse, space mouse, so I can easily navigate through and around the construction here. Now we come to the cutting or joining the profiles. Of course, we also want to cut the bar assemblies and for this we use the bar cutting function. Later, we will come to a new feature that we all will also um, use for the construction. Now we come to the cutting. Of course, we also want to cut or join the bar assemblies and for this we use the bar cutting function. Later we will come to a new feature that we will use for another construction. First we assign the cutting types given by the system manufacturer, of course with the appropriate distances. In this case they are all the same or it's the same situation. This means that we can also apply the assign cutting um, to the entire facade. Then of course we also want to define the fillings. This should then also appear in the part list, an example with the attributes or properties then that we can select here. We quickly click, th click through to select the prescribed infill here as well, we simply cross completely over the facade and, and this, in that case they are all the same infills and then these surfaces are converted into Apollon infills. When Apollon has calculated and generated this, these so-called panel assemblies then appear on the left side in the structure tree. Now I will present you the first innovation of our current Apollon 2022 version, the Apollon Visibility Filter. We want to hide all the components of the construction that are not visually required and only keep the, the, the main profiles in order to get a better visual overview and also to be able to design in a targeted manner. In some places, for example, we can still isolate this transom. Apollon, of course, execute the cuts correctly, 
but we would still like to take a quick and targeted look at the result of this cut. Here, in particular, the diagonal rule of, of how it was cut, we also undo this and return to our construction. Simply show all components via the visibility filter. Now we come to the further processing of the bar assemblies, because the head and the foot point must be extended. We can already see that here. This also has to be cut parallel to the sailing later. To do this we take the floors, modeled here in Athena, and export them as a SAT file, so that we can import and use them again in Apollon. I export them here into the Kronos folder, so that the SAT file appears in the Kronos input box. We then drag and drop them into our construction structure. Again, a document number is assigned. Simply save it quickly and we can then import it directly as an assembly. We put the SAT file out of our Kronos Explorer or the Kronos structure, the folder construction, and we will place now the SAT file assembly. So Apollon recognized that is this special format and ask how it should be handled. Then we can place it fixed at the origin and confirm. So it's done. Now we have this um, surface body and we will use it later to make the profile separations. Now we quickly create suitable working planes from the lower edge of the slab, 35 downwards, and this will then be our cutting plane. And at the bottom, the same, it's 20 millimeter upwards. Additionally, we assign a three-point plane here in the first floor. So now we do the slice plane function of Apollon. We select the, pla the working plane and then the mullions. So here we want to slice all the mullions on the top. And of course we do the same at the bottom. We repeat the function. Again, we select the, the plane and after this then the bars. So let's confirm briefly and you will see that the bars run directly down to the bottom edge. And we see here also the distance of 20 millimeters, um, yes, similar with the working plan. Now we can simply hide the working planes for now and use the visibility filter again to see only the needed profiles. And you can see also um, that this function is not something you need once uh, in um, yes, the time you're modeling, but it's used again and again like a tool that you always use and use constantly. Now we only need the cover profiles to make a bar divide. I create a working plane here with plane by point at the lower edges of the cover profiles. For example, um, here on the left side. Now, from the upper working plane that we have created to the next lower edge, because we want to join the vertical cover profiles of the mullions 
against these planes or the lower edge of the cover profiles. Yes, so selected here. Here again, a point, please, to the next plane. That fits and then we just fade everything in again. Of course, again with the Apollon visibility filter. Now we come to the bar divide, another innovation in our 22.2 version of Apollon. Here I now select the mullions and enter the appropriate distances. In our case, the pressure bar is pushed upwards at a striker distance of 100 mm with a 10 mm gap. Then the cover shell and of course later the mullions. That's where we come in. We have to thread the mullion again or better the main profile separately. Here we deselect all the components that are not affected, in example the seal, the insulator and so on. And then only the aluminium profiles of the construction. The pressure uh, profile and then the cover profiles. The whole thing is now calculated or executed by Apollon. You can see these temporary levels of the function flashing up and at these points the selected components are divided. We simply have to go through this one once again, which of course takes a moment, but it is difficult to prepare something that is already finished in this webinar. This is done relatively quickly, so you just click through the three levels and the affected profiles uh, once again. The goal is always to make life or the construction life simple and not to have to work around in a complicated way. And now we come to the last step of uh, the dividing of the pressure profiles and the cover profiles. We divide the two mullions um, or the two cover and pressure profiles in the middle of the facade. We assign the gap and the distance. Now we want to deal with the mullions. So for this step we handle the mullions separately. Um, we need our working plane of the, um, in the, of the first floor. So the, the plane of in the middle of the first floor and then um, we we select only our main part, so only the mullion. We assign our gap of also of 10 mm and Apollon generate then um, the gap of the main profile. So now after this process we can hide the working plans and look at the result. We see that the mullions were separated um, joint um, in the plane of the story with a gap of 10 millimeters and also the cover profiles of the mullions were joined at the points where we have just created the working planes, the lower edge of the cover profiles. So let's isolate um, the pressure profile and the cover profile of the mullion and yeah, let's take um, a visual look um, at the result. Here we see also um, that Apollon automatically generate uh, the gap and the 100 millimeter distance um, of this components. Yes, and also, of course, um, Yes, another look here to the main parts and we see also the gap in the middle of the first floor. Okay, so this is done and 
Yes, since the basics of the construction have been done for a few minutes, we can now work our way from uh, the next innovations to innovations of our current version. So by the way, um, I opened the profile standard data and in this current version of Apollon, um, you can use also the standard profiles um, of our um, database and yes, you can use of course the bar assembly library um, of our your own profiles or um, the standard um, pro profile standard data um, in Apollon. Let's have a look at the new feature of the single part drawing in our current version of Apollon. For this, I want to isolate uh, two nodes of the construction and want to export these profiles as single um, parts on a layout paper. To do this, I select um, a template for the export. And now Apollon generate the single part drawings. This takes a moment. This is also generated once and you can see um, the profiles here. Here the um, buttered mullion and also a transom. And uh, in the lower area of the layout paper we see the title block. Here of course the attributes are automatically entered. Um, the part number, uh, the component number and also the cutting length um, and much more information. This can also be used as a control when you later export the profiles to the machine. So and now we have the keyword, the export to the machine. I would also like to introduce you to a new feature or a new export option namely the 3D CW format for the CampQuick software from Camprox to export um, your bars um, yes, to your machining center. First we need a file name and also a storage location. We have um, of course the Kronos folder. Here the Kronos folder. OK. So, and the export takes a little moment. So, after this we open Kronos and first we create a new folder. For example, here, bar process center. So that the exported files can also be included in the Kronos structure and the data can be saved at the same time. So we open here our Kronos folder and drag and drop the special 3D CW file in our, um, in our file, in our folder structure and then also this step files, we drag and drop the files here in also in our Kronos structure. So let's open the ComeQuick software and let's take a look at the result. In the ComeQuick software we import the 3D CW file that was created and the software now calculates it once and here we can already see the profiles now. Here for example a mullion with the diagonal cut or the, the butted joint or let's take a look at the transom profiles which are notched on both sides. 
let's take this transom and we can take a look here how the notching runs on this bar component. At this point, many thanks to the Camprox team for setting up the software on um, our workstation and which helped me a lot in my working preparations. At the end, we add a bar optimization here and then start the NC export and to a certain extent transfer everything virtually to the machine and look at the result. Here we can see virtually how the work steps are carried out and how to various profiles are sawn and machined or processed. So let's go back to our main construction and save our facade. And at this point I will open another construction that you may remember from our last webinar. It's a unitized facade and I would like to show it uh, you another feature using this elements. So I open the element one of the unitized facade and we can now carry out several notching machining in the bar cutting in Apollon. I will show you what this means in this example. I'll just activate the cutting again here and you see the several notchings have been assigned to the profile or the bar cross section. That is the top of the bar is notched but ho holes are also added. I activate this once, let Apollon do it and show you the result. If you have complicated constructions with several notchings or other machinings, you can simply um, create them in the profile content center, as in this case you can simply assign several machining operations to one bar assembly, like here for drillings and one notching for the profile bar and let's, let's just hide everything again and move on to the next feature. This is already the command or the function update element. We change the parameters of this unitized facade once and want to update all existing assemblies, in this case three element assemblies at one time. That is, this um, command is now able to update no, not only one assembly or one element, um, but all assemblies that have been added to the construction. I have simply changed a few parameters here. Okay, and in the next step um, we update the 3D sketch. Okay, so let's go back to the um, facade constructions with all three elements and we um, do the update element function here. And so that takes a moment. Apollon calculate the assemblies and we see all three elements have changed. Okay, so in this example we have considered the new two features. Uh, we can carry out more than one notching or machining in the bar cutting and the uh, expanded command update element. Okay, so let's go back to our main facade here and um, we can hide all objects and let's take um, a look at the result of our work um, we have done in the last 30 minutes. So I use the Apollon visibility filter 
on the last time and I will hide all components of the facade, okay? And also the floor assembly. Okay, and then we take a last look of our work. So, okay, so that's all for the moment. So, Henning, <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's okay. your turn. Okay, I see the mouse here. So, okay, that's nice. Thank you. Okay, fantastic. Um, Thank you, Philip. That was a very informative, great presentation. But uh, what else uh, you can expect with Apollo 22.2? We have summarized for you here. Of course, you can read about all these new features on our homepage and also order a trial version right away. But later you get a QR code and can scan this with your phone. So please put out your phones now. <laughs> also new in Apollo are the profile standard parts library. I told you in the beginning. Uh, Athena's extensive manufacture and standard parts library is now available in Apollon as well, with new filter options and other great advantages. A, very, a new, very well organized SAR screen uh, with the possibility, possibility to start directly into our e learning tool. You see here below there, oh, on this, here we have this e learning button, and um, so. Uh, which as you don't have to go to a classroom training, you decide when you want to learn. Fantastic possibilities and this is free of charge for, your, for, for you even in the basic course. Then, and a dark scheme for all those who also want to design facades at night, I would like to say. Uh, yeah, we, impl we implemented also a higher performance database system and even better integration in Kronos as just shown and many more. So now we come to the QR codes. We have prepared something else for you, the small QR code. If you want to have information about Apollon uh, on the website, uh, then please scan the QR code on my side here, on this side. And uh, on Philip's side, there is the QR code for the trial version. So if you want to have a 30-day trial version, then you can fill in your data via the link on the website, and then you will get a free trial, uh, a free trial version. Yeah, thank you very much, and I hope uh, it all worked out with LinkedIn. I let Philip have the last word as always. Philip. Yes, thank you very much um, for coming virtually in such large numbers, and I'm really looking forward to, um, to the next time, to the next webinars with Athena and Kronos, and to present you the software product, products now always um, in a bundle. And I wish you a good day at work or after work and uh, depending on which time zone you are at the moment. And yes, you can write us or me directly 24-7 um, or on LinkedIn if you have questions about our products um, or something else. And yes, goodbye and see you um, in the next time.